Hey there, Nick Juntakis here. In this video, we're going to go over using iSort, which is a Python library to help you auto-sort your imports. And I've got this integrated now with my example Dockerized Flask application, as well as Django, both are Python applications. And in this video, we're going to do a live demo of just checking it out. So all I've done here off camera was I opened up this example Flask application here, and I've got it running in the background here, just a Docker Compose up from the project readme file. But we can see here at the very top, all of these imports have been auto-sorted by iSort using a custom configuration, and we're gonna go over that in a bit here. But uh, yeah, the use case around this one is, you know, let's say you have a Python project and you wanna import some stuff. You know, typically there's uh, a best practice to do this, right, in terms of how you might want to order things, although there is uh, quite a lot of room here for opinions, but typically, you would import things from the standard library on top, which is actually not shown in this file, but I'll, I'll modify that in a second here. You know, secondly, you would then auto, or secondly, you would import things from third-party libraries, and then you would also import things from your own application, basically from top to bottom. You would separate each of those sections there by a new line. And uh, yeah, let's uh, start running this command here. And I've got uh, an, a little shortcut run script that I use to run iSort within a container here. And I've also got shortcuts in this app to make this a little bit easier. But for now, let's focus on just running iSort by itself here, as you would on the command line. You know, if you weren't using my uh, example Flask application, you would just run iSort dot to run it from the current directory here. And we can see that it is starting to format things here. Uh, in this file, in, in which case this file didn't change because I made some changes off camera. I just wanted to run it in a couple different ways to make sure things are working, and they are. Let's say that we were to mess this up a little bit here and maybe you know import both of these on one line. And by the way, if you don't like this style or this style, there's a lot of different options here, and we're gonna look at those in a second here. But let's say also, you know, put this at the very top of the file or, you know, basically just mess up the imports here. And if I rerun this iSort command, now it is going to reformat that app.py file exactly how it was before, before we made the change. And this is great, right? If you're a Python developer, you're usually importing quite a few things in files and it could be a very tedious process to you know, make sure things are alphabetized or, you know, whatever formatting that you like, right? You can be spending some mental brain cycles doing that. Whereas now those things are going to be handled for you. And also to demonstrate, you know, just importing something from the standard library, let me just import like the OS module here and if you run iSort, that is now going to sort that in a different way now where it's going to put that on top, right? Because that goes around standard library, third-party libraries, and then your applications imports. And uh, that is very nice. And by the way, in this project, I am using black. So yes, iSort is black compatible. And if we take a look here at the uh, Tomo file here for Pi project, you can configure sort using this file here. And basically, if you are using black, you can just set the profile to black. And I also have force a single line set to true here. And that is going to, well, I'll show you the before and after with this one. So if we go to the app.py file, we can see here, let me get rid of this, that this extensions module has three different imports and they're each on their own different line. Now, I prefer this style and I've made videos about this one in the past. You know, this is not uh, best practice, like guarantee. This is an opinion. I just find it's a little bit easier. It reduces uh, merge conflicts and other things. And I go into details about that in that video. But, you know, let's say that you don't like that style, right? Maybe you want to have these all on one line if they fit to 80 characters. Great, you can totally do that. So if I rerun iSort without that config option, that's the one that I modified here. You know, this is going to change a couple of different files, but we can see here now that it pulled all this up onto one line. And uh, if that were to exceed 80 characters, then I think it goes with, uh, let me see. So this is the documentation here for the multi-line output modes. I believe it might, it might go with this one by default. I actually don't have an example of that in this project to even demonstrate that one. But in any case, there's lots of different options here to choose the one that you like. So there's grid mode here, which it puts parentheses in your libraries on one line, kind of like organizes them like a grid. Then there's vertical mode here, just like one import per one, and you know parentheses are lined up like this. You've got hanging indent here. Uh, you can go vertical hanging indent here. It must have been fun naming all of these because there's so many different ways here. Then there's hanging grid, hanging grid grouped. Uh, let's see, what's the difference between this one? Yeah, yeah, you can see here uh, that is on the same line, but this one ends up on its own line down there. Uh, what else? We have hanging grid grouped, same as mode five, deprecated, whatever. And then, uh, yeah, basically we have what we have over here, which is where we have forcing line to true, but then also you have vertical hanging indent bracket over here. Yeah, and you can see, I'm not gonna narrate all of them here, but all sorts of different uh, styles. And yeah, you've got plenty of options here to pick one that you like, which is cool. And this is only the beginning, right? So if I zoom out a little bit here, there's like a whole configuration here where, you know, you can go nuts, you can configure a lot of things, but uh, I actually like sticking with the defaults here basically. And just with that force new line, I am very happy with that one. But um, yeah, so I've got this set up and actually let me go back to this uh, Tama file here and we'll just bring it back how it was before. Just rerun the command to make sure that things are working here and they should be. And by the way, if you are using these example Flask or Django application, I've got run script shortcuts for this one. So we can just run format imports instead. 
Uh, that's just a little bit easier, in my opinion, to type something like that. And also, what's really nice about iSort is there's a check mode that you can run things in as well. So let's stick with the raw command just in case you're not using my applications here. But if you run this check flag here, then it's also, you know, notice that my dollar sign didn't turn different color here. If I run an echo zero or an echo dollar sign, that's going to return back zero because this exited successfully here. But if I go back to, let's say, this uh, file here, and let's say we just change this to be debug toolbar. If I can uh, type today, debug toolbar, maybe get rid of that line just to have uh, no duplicates there. But if we run this now in check mode, I would expect that to fail because why the imports are not formatted specified by the configuration options that we have. Because yeah, you know, based on the configuration I had, like these things should have been on separate lines. So this is really good to run in check mode if you are running uh, continu you know, continuous integration, like you have a pipeline running and you don't want files that are improperly formatted to pass the pipeline, then yep, you can just run it in check mode. And I'm actually doing that, and let me just bring this back to what it was before. You know, in this run script over here, uh, yeah, I've got uh, that one imports command that we just took a look at here. Also, just side note, I have a new command now called quality that actually does all three of these things in once, where it runs uh, iSort, black, and then also lints it with Flake 8. And by the way, Flake 8 is uh, another useful tool, but I'm pretty sure it belongs to the same org over here. So I think iSort and Flake 8 are both made by potentially the same folks here. Yeah, there's Flake 8, or, you know, at, at least from this team, which is kind of nice. But yeah, going back to here in continuous integration, you can see that I run for end imports in check mode, you know, black mode, uh, black supports that as well. Lint doesn't need it because it doesn't modify files, but it is basically running in check mode by default. That's a topic for another day, perhaps. But yeah, I really am liking I sort. I'm using it in a couple projects now. That's why I rolled it into these example applications here if you want to check them out. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you are using it, if you're using uh, different configuration options. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.